pretty fish too, that's a nice keeper. Oh, I'm down. Oh, I'm on too. Stay tuned, stay blessed, and let's go get to the rocks. Let's go. Made it out here. North Packery. Beautiful water. Surf looks almost flat. It's almost uh, Jack Ravel season, guys. It's looking beautiful out here. Heck yeah. Yeah, homie. Got Rafa. What's up? Got Michael. See what's happening today. We're looking into some sheep heads, hopefully some red, maybe jacks later in the evening. See what's going on. Alright, today we're gonna go bobber stopper setup. Alright, completing my bobber stop setup. My bobber. Slip cork. A leader, 50 pound, slip cork. And I got it about one foot, two foot, three foot. Let's make it about four feet down. There we go. Rig. That's cold. I'm gonna slow things down a bit, guys. So, y'all could use a popping cork. However, I do not like casting out a big rig. And in this case, we're fishing four feet down. So, I prefer to use a slip cork. Slip cork's much easier. It's a smaller rig that you're casting out for your rod. You're not casting no four foot long leader. So, uh, let me show you guys. So the star of the rig are these bobber stoppers. Now I prefer these hard plastic ones. I get them at Bass Pro Shops, but let me show you how I put them on. Basically thread the string through one of the loopholes, pull it through. Not too long of a distance, a real short distance. And then just let it hang and grab the black bead and pull it, pull it, pull it till you get past a short tag inside and your strings gonna come right through you're gonna have the bobber stopper here and it's real tough to move but it'll slide up and down your line and you could basically adjust it to however depth you want so next thing I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bead and I'm gonna thread it through get it to my bobber stopper next is gonna be my my bobber, now this bobber is a used bobber. I got it off an old rig that I found snagged on a rock. So I got the bobber on there. Next thing, so I'm gonna put, wanna put one more bead. After that, I'm practically done. All right, so I got my bobber on. I got a bead. I got my bobber stopper. Next, another bead. And then a half ounce to three quarter ounce egg weight, a swivel, 40 to 50 pound mono floral, small split shot to keep your bait down and your hook. I prefer to use a size two or three hook for uh, sheep heads. 
And that's pretty much it guys. Most of this stuff is all stuff I took off of old corks, except for these guys. Got them at Bass Pro Shops. Now let's get back to the video guys. Woo! Woo! Michael put up one right now. It's a pretty fish too, that's a nice keeper. Oh, I'm down. Oh, I'm on too. Woo! I doubled up. Mine's a little smaller, looks like. Ah, uh, that's a keeper. I want to keep them. Yeah. I'm gonna get them up here. Fuck. South Texas fishing fam right here. Look at that. Woo! Right, first one got put back in, but this one looks like a keeper, guys. Let's see what we got here. Why are you tapping in 17? 16? <laughs> now nah, you're good, man. That was my fault. <laughs> you know, I was walking into a dangerous territory right there. <laughs> I think he was going to get off. I don't think I got one on right now. Let's see. Yep. Oh, pulled out his mouth. Ooh, almost doubled up. I just missed mine right now. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I think I'm on. Ooh, got him. Slip cord. Slip. You got him? Need a net. How big this guy is. He is 17. Alright, this time I'm using the head. Slip cord. Got it set about four feet. And uh, let's see what happens. That one hit right up against the rocks last time. And uh, let's see how this goes. Cast up short again. Oh no! <laughs> I told him. I keep told him. I keep <laughs> I caught her fish, bro. Yeah, hey, on the cork. Might release him. Let's see what size he is. He is 16. You get a bigger one. This guy's going back in. And he's gone. Woo! That's a nice one too. Oh, that's, a, that's a baby. It's all jacked up on Mountain Dew or something. Alright, small. It's going back in, guys. I 
rifle. Oh, on a bait stealer. <laughs> There we go. Proper damn. It's a better one. Hopefully it's just not all jacked up. I'm not doing it. It's a good one. Once again, guys, we're going to go for some bigger ones. This guy's going back in. Ooh, and he's gone. Put up just in time, bro. It's the last one too, looks like a 17. Shit. Got Bobber down over here. Up, bro. Woo, doubled up, bro. Alright, let's see how big this guy is. This one is 16. 16. Yeah, we'll keep this one. Ooh. That was an Insta. That was an Insta bike. That's a good one too. Passed it right into his mouth, bro. That slip bobber does it again. Pretty cheap head. Seventeen and a half. That's a good one. Michael whipping them out. They're tossing out Carolinas. I'm tossing out slip corks, but they bite him. They're here. They stack. Heck yeah. They're pretty cheaper. Carolina rig. Ooh. Yeah, I might do the same. That's a nice one right there for sure. Got him. Hooked up. They got a nice one too. I right, just all jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> that one's definitely better. I got 17. All right, we made the switch to Carolina rig. It looks like the fish are on the bottom right now. So, Snag City it is. Let's go. Rebaited. Going back out. Let's go, dudes. Let's go, dudes. Let's catch one, dudes. A little flick of a wrist right there. Feels like a fish right there. Ourselves a bigger one. We're back out. Okay, another one. Ooh, 
Yeah, yeah it's definitely bigger than the other one. Like a 16, 17. Got another good one, bro. Looks like it, man. <laughs> Got that rod rod boat over. Yeah, about the same size, bro, for sure. Uh, same size, man. Yeah, bro. Oh, you want two? Got Rafa on too. That's a double up. Oh. Double up out here. You got the Rafa? That's a nice one, bro. That's a good one there, guys. Turn on, bro. Yep. Just doubled up here. All right, guys. Let's see how big this one is. He's a keeper. Probably gonna be my limit. And he is 16. Woo! That's my limit right there. Woo! Woo! We smoked them. Nothing but tanks today. What a beautiful day. Smoked the sheep heads with friends. Started with corks. And there with Carolina rigs. Took back a lot of 15s. Keeping 16s and up. Pretty much all 17s and up. Killed them. Now this is South Texas Fishing Fam. We about to go cook up some sheep head. Let's go. All right, I'm back inside. And I got the fillets here. They're nice and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a couple up and we're gonna get some ceviche started. Let's go. All right, I got my fillets. I'm basically gonna be cutting them up into little tiny pieces. All right, I got it all sliced up into small pieces. I'm getting to cut up into small little squares like this. And these little squares are perfect size. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut some up and get some in this container. And we'll get some lime juice on them here in a bit. Now, since sheep had only feed on crustaceans, their meat is uh, hopefully gonna taste really good. So we'll see here in a bit how it turns out with the ceviche. All right, now that I got my fillets all nice and cut up, perfect little squares. I'm gonna go ahead and add my lemon and lime juice. I'm gonna go ahead and add both lemon and lime. And I'm gonna go ahead and cheat. I'm gonna use these little uh, pre-squeezed uh, bottles of lemon and lime juice. All right, I got both containers open, both lids off, both seals off. I'm gonna go ahead and drop both in at the same time. I want a half and half mix. I'm gonna put enough to cover the, the, the fish entirely. There you go. Perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and let it soak for about four to six hours in the fridge, in the lime juice, covered up. And uh, we'll get back with you when it's done. All right guys, I got my fillets that are cut up, soaking in lime and lemon juice in this container. They're gonna go in the fridge. Here's the rest of uh, the fillets right here. See you on a few. All right, we got our fish. It's been soaking in the lemon and lime juice for about, I wanna say 10 hours. I did, uh, did more than six hours. So what I'm gonna do is a really important step here. Drain out the lemon and lime juice that the fish cooked in. It's gonna make all the difference in the flavor at the end. Hey guys, here are all the ingredients I'm gonna add to the Ceviche, I have cilantro, a cucumber, a serrano pepper, two tomatoes, two avocados, a purple onion, and some lemons, Louisiana hot sauce, salt, and garlic powder. All right, let's get to it. 
All right, guys, first I'm gonna start up with cutting a purple onion. Now I'm gonna give me a tomato cut up. Just cut it into little cubes, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up two tomatoes, not just one. All right, got all my tomato cut up. I'm gonna add it to the container. Next, I'm gonna add a cucumber. All right, that's all the cucumbers, onions, and tomatoes. Now, I'm gonna add a serrano. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half and take out the seeds just because I uh, don't want it too spicy for my pops. There you go, seeds taken out. Now I'm just gonna cut it into little pieces and put it into the batch also. All right guys, now I'm gonna add the jalapenos or serrano, seedless serrano that I cut up into little pieces. I added the fish in there and I still gotta add some avocado and some cilantro. So let's get to it. All right, got my avocado sliced in half and peeled out. I'm gonna cut it into little cubes and toss it into the mix also. All right, all cut up and goes the avocado. And now the cilantro. I like to be real generous with it because it adds a lot of flavor to the ceviche. So let's get that in the mix. All right, more cilantro going in. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit more. Now a little bit of salt. A little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. a little extra because it's plenty of uh, ceviche we're making now to add a little bit more lemon juice and that should be the final product that we're going to add to the ceviche mm. lemon number two and now that's everything in there time for the final stir It's looking real good. Now, for the final taste test. See how this goes. Let's get a little bit of everything on that chip. That'll work. That's good. Can't go wrong with some fresh ceviche, guys. Now it's the South Texas Fishing Fam. We had that slip cork action. We had that ceviche action. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe. We are out.